Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you one of my favorite tools for massage for myself and for my clients, and that's cupping. So I just got some fresh cups in um, from Laura Essentials. I ordered these through Amazon, and I'll have the, the link in the comments down below. Now I needed a specific size, but they come in different ones. So these are all large cups, and I'll show you them in just a second. Uh, my first pack that I ever got had four different sizes, and I'll show you those. So we had the extra large and the large, and then the small and the medium. So they look like little flying saucers, and I like that. There are different cups. There are some that are taller, but I like these. I can glide with them better, and I like the suction. It, it stays better for me. So they do come in, like I said, packs of four. So these are all the large size. They're hospital-grade silicone, and they're free from plastic, PVC, all that good stuff. Um, so super easy. So I'm going to show you the three different ways to cup just really quick. This is just a crash course. Um, if you want more information, I encourage you to take a class or um, get a book on it. So what I use cupping for in my massage practice, <clears throat> excuse me, I use it to um, bring fresh blood flow to the muscles and to stretch the fascia. So there's three different types of cupping. So dynamic cupping is where you're creating the suction. I don't know if you can see. It's got a suction in it. And then you're moving it around while the suction is on there. Now, I don't have any oil on my arm right now, so I'm not able to really move it. But you want to lift away. So once you get it on, you lift away, and then you would move it around. So that's dynamic cupping. And so um, doing any kind of cupping for three to five minutes is the same as doing 30 minutes of deep tissue massage. So it brings a lot of circulation. It also flushes a lot of stuff out of the muscles as well. And by stretching the fascia, you feel a lot better a lot quicker. So that was dynamic. So there's also flash cupping. Flash cupping is where you're just taking the cup and you're squeezing it and then you're moving it. You don't have to pop off like that. You can squeeze it again and it'll come right off. But that just brings circulation to that area wherever you're doing it at. Um, the last type of cupping is static cupping, and that's what I do when my shoulder hurts um, or something hurts. I'll stick a cup on it. If I have like a spot on my upper back that I just can't get to let up, I've tried a tennis ball, I've tried my Theracane, and I just cannot get it to let go. I'll take a cup and I'll put it back there and just hold on and, and leave it there for three to five minutes, um, which is recommended. Sometimes I leave it a little longer. If you do leave it longer than five minutes, you will have like a little red hickey wherever the cup was. So just know that, especially since it's getting close to bathing suit season, so if you don't want to go out with a bunch of big red hickeys all over you, then um, keep that in mind. I don't know if you saw um, a couple of years ago, Michael Phelps had red marks all over his body when he was doing the Olympics, and that was from cupping. So cupping is great for anyone, whether it's an athlete or just average person like us. Uh, in pain or just needing an increase in circulation. So I encourage you to give it a shot. Try it out. Make, let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. Like I said, this is a crash course. This is just to introduce you to the product um, and tell you a little bit about it and how to use it. So be sure that if you need more information that you take a class or you look it up and get more information. All right? So be sure to like and subscribe if you like the video so you can see more videos like this. And it helps my channel out so that other people can see it as well. Because the more likes you get, the more subscribers you get, the more you pop up on your scroll um, when people are looking for different stretches or techniques or something, you'll show up. Because there's tons of YouTubers out there. So I appreciate you watching and sharing, and I hope to see you again soon. Thank you.